Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Wings of Wonder, where we have definitely just had a wonderful, miraculous, hilarious event happen. The birth, once again, of our trickster nicheling god, Tata. And he has come in looking like nothing else I have ever seen this time, because he is our first nicheling to have heat body. So not only was it our first nicheling with heat body, not only is he sickly because he has F immunity, but he also is Tata, the trickster nicheling, which just cracks me up. And he's got melanism too. So what a amazing mix of genes. I have no idea what we are going to do with this little one, but it's going to be very exciting to see what happens with him, especially because last time we also had the arrival of our nicheling god Yuki, an albino nicheling. So talk about pairing the perfect contrast between the two. We have Tata, a melanistic nicheling who has heat body, and then we have dainty Yuki over here with his antlers who has albinism, and he he showed up last time too. So this is just this is just getting hilarious and ridiculous. And for some reason, all of our antlered nichelings have like scurried into the bushes with each other. Uh, and Tata apparently, or Yuki apparently has a rob or a couple bundles who have come to offer themselves to this group. So they'll have a little bit of food over here. But yeah, things are getting really, really, really interesting. And we also left off with quite the conundrum with Cuckoo, who is going to pass away tomorrow, unfortunately having uh, several interesting children, mostly with his mate Lima. Uh, he had Corpy and our beautiful, beautiful tiger eye. Look at how gorgeous she is with Lima. And they have just had a third child, another daughter that they have named Lima. So like with two M's and yes, her na she's named after her mother, but I always like to just kind of like exaggerate the names a little bit. And I'm not really sure what to name uh, Lily's child. I don't think Lily is very impressed that Cuckoo actually had a mate the whole time. And so this might finally be the opportunity for Lemon Drop, who has been watching the singer Lily, who sings the songs of our Wings of Wonder tribe from the, the edges for so long. He might finally get a chance to sweep in now. I'm not really sure what to name Anari, but all of Lily's children were supposed to have Lily in the name if they are female. So let's just go ahead. We are going to name her. Hmm. Hmm. We're going to... What do I... What, what should I name her? Well, we have... We have... Sorry, I'm trying to think, like, what does she look like? She looks like Mud. <laughs> Mud Lily, you know what? Mud Lily is an adorable name. We're gonna go ahead. We have Mud Lily and Gray Lily who were born from Cuckoo and Lily, and they're gonna go ahead and be Lily's first children, and we'll probably have more children with Lemon Drop in just a minute here. But yeah, talk about, oh, Tata, I cannot believe that he showed up. And he has a, a you know, protective, protective stepfather named Tanu, who is going to go ahead and collect up some berries. Maybe, can he collect up any nuts? I don't think he can. Maybe try to do a little bit of fishing so that he can, uh, he can watch over his new, his new son, Tata, which is just kind of hilarious. All right, let's go ahead and start with the edges as we usually do when we're trying to figure out where to go next. Shinzi is going to go ahead and get some more of the rabbles to eat. Let's dive over to Yuki and his group over here. Lairi does not have very long to live, so I'm going to go ahead and have her mate with, uh, should I have her mate with her brother or with Yuki? Whoops. Uh, let's see. How did she? Okay, never mind. Uh, I think she's going to go ahead and take Yuki as a mate now and make a little nest. And I'm going to have her normal sighted eyes is important to, for her to pass on. Her fertility is great. And Yuki, yeah, normal sighted eyes on Yuki, basically. Um, and then I want him to also pass on anything else. Not really. I think his genes are, are just kind of interesting otherwise. They do share an immunity gene, so this is taking a bit of a risk, but I mean, he is our fertility god, so I feel like this is appropriate too. And I think, yeah, Zunu is probably going to be her mate in the near future now too. So he will go ahead and also have normal sighted eyes because he's got short sighted eyes in the background there. And normal fertility, maybe? 
We do have Peacock Tail now. I should probably actually start throwing Peacock Tail into more of our Nichelings uh, lineup, but just having the gene unlocked is what we're going for. What we really need is to be able to go ahead and find ourselves um, find ourselves some winged Nichelings. So we need to get off this island is actually our next goal. We I want to have at least a, a, you know, a couple hundred food, so that's going to be my goal. So the next generation or maybe even Lily's like generation, will work to get off the island pretty soon here. All right, Marka, you go ahead. You're gonna go ahead and kind of take care of your tree as usual. And Zen, Lily's brother, has actually just come over in search of making heads and tails out of why Cuckoo has upset his sister Lily so much. And he has been sent to speak with Tiger Eye, who is the eldest child of Cuckoo and Lima. And so we're gonna have him jump over to meet the lovely Tiger Eye. And they are definitely going to fall for each other because it's just a great match. I think they're even a healthy match. Let me double check. A and F. A and F on him. C and H on her. It's perfect. She's stunning and beautiful and so different from any other nicheling that he has ever met. Uh, and they will also carry on a singing line as well. So hopefully they'll have some cool kids and we can kick them onto the next island. Phew. All right, let's get moving. And Treva, this is his last day of life, unfortunately. So I'm going to let my little old wandering man just kind of settle down right here and make himself comfortable. His daughter has been over here for quite some time. She's going to start wandering around again. I'm going to go ahead and have Lemon Drop maybe splash over to the other side of the island so that he can have a different angle on all of this drama going on here. Uh, we're going to have... I'm going to have Lima jump down upset and confused at the fact that Cuckoo left her and I'm going to allow Cuckoo to try to reassure her one last time realizing that perhaps he should have been loyal to his first love all along because I want more children from them because their kids are awesome and I think Lily is kind of done having kids with uh, Cuckoo so she'll go ahead and just do a couple calls and then we'll let little Corpy, he's young and he's hungry and he learned how to uh, gather up toxic berries at a young age. Unfortunately, most of the toxic berries are over here, but I think we might actually, oh no, there's some over here. We might actually have them explore across the river soon. So I'm gonna let Corpy kind of wander down with Grey Lily and they, they're they not half siblings actually, C and K, but they're a little bit related on the immunity genes. So they'll just kind of wander over here for now. All right, meanwhile, Simi, your job is to just go find some food with your daughter. So head off into the wilderness and good luck. Take Annie with you. All right, so those two are, are gonna go off. They're gonna be some of our collectors for food resources. And Kito, your last kid with Blossom resulted in, in like Tata. So we're gonna go ahead. Blossom's just gonna be like, wow. And off to go try to have another kid with him. Um, and then we'll send Kito down here because he seems to like collecting up coconuts. There we go. All right, that should be everybody. All right, and unfortunately, it is now Cuckoo's last moment with us. He has had quite the chaotic time and he has had oh so many daughters, but I think in the end, in his own way, he loved both of his mates, even if Lily is less than impressed with the fact he neglected to mention he already had a bunch of kids with Lima. And we will see what his final child with Lima shall be and prepare to move on from this island to new lands in search of wings. Goodbye, Cuckoo! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Mystery! Oh my gosh, it's almost like having the rebirth of uh, one of the nichelings that we had in the past. And she even has bird beak uh, hiding around back there. That's pretty cool. All right, so where to begin? Let's also go check out what Yuki's child looks like right over here. Little Tresira, and she's actually healthy. Thank goodness. I think that's the only time we are going to take that risk. And we will allow the Nishlin god Yuki to go ahead and start doing some wandering. Look at that. He found a permanent nest. <laughs> How absolutely convenient. So Lyrie is going to jump over here because she's going to pass away pretty soon. And we'll go ahead. Zunu will now take care of little Tresira. They just have a very interesting relationship over here. I mean, they're, they're with a the nicheling god, so you, you change the rules a little bit, you know what I mean? All right, meanwhile, Annie will come over here with her mother, and they're gonna go searching for some delicious food, and Simi will join her, and Simi's actually, oh, can we get the, ah. oh yeah, we got them all, sweet. Oh wow, Simi, did you just unlock something? 
Apparently we just unlocked a new gene. Uh, was it Digging Paw? I think it was actually Digging Paw. <laughs> All right, we unlocked Digging Paw. So we're basically unlocking a ton of things. And like I said, the goal now should probably be to get off the island pretty soon. So food gathering on pretty much everybody. Oh, hey. And a Krabbit has just died next to Shinzi. And unfortunately, he does have a leech. So, oh, wow, there's another dead Krabbit just served up on a platter right here. That's awesome. Uh, so he might actually call for somebody to try to help him and then wiggle over here. But I do want to get off this island and start searching for winged creatures on other lands and kind of just move pretty quickly from island to island. And when we stumble on stumps, maybe stopping long enough to breed a little bit and then see what happens. Uh, but I think I want to get at least a couple hundred food first and maybe a few young children that we can pick from. So on that note, let's go ahead and have Zen uh, meet with the lovely Tiger Eye. Is there anything I would want to give her? Not yet. Anything I would want to give him? Other than, ooh, I'm going to give them both Peacock Tail. Because Peacock Tail we can now give to any of our nichelings. Pretty much the only goal right now is to unlock it. And as we get closer to wings and beak as well, then we'll want to start giving more of our nichelings wings and more of our nichelings peacock tail and more of our nichelings beaks. But for now, peacock tail is going to signify, for the most part, uh, any nicheling who is from the singing line because they're the ones who unlocked it. So Zen will go ahead and romance this lovely lady. And then he will start, can she jump into this nest? She'll go ahead and grab a little bit of food and then make herself quite comfy in this nest. And then he'll go ahead and stay near her. So hopefully their children will probably go to the next island. All right, and with all of that humbaloo behind us, let's pop. Kito is going to start gathering more food. He'll just wander about. Tata is gonna scoot over. He's amazing, oh my gosh. Is he not the coolest? What is with that heat body? And he has little red nails too. That's so cool. Uh, his mother Blossom is just going to plunk herself down in the nest and hopefully have another cool kid that way. And his stepdad is going to go- Tanu is going to come down here to get some of the mole meat. There we go. Oh, we had Triva- Triva did pass away. Oh, he died of old age too. All right, and how old is Lily? Pretty young still, so is Lemon Drop. So Lemon Drop will do a little exploring and offer Lily, who is still somewhat perturbed about how this whole situation with who she thought was an excellent mate went out. Uh, I think Lemon Drop will offer to allow Corby and perhaps Gray Lily to explore on this side of the island across the river since Corby wants to find some of the delicious toxic berries his mother taught, sh taught him how to eat. And Lima may go with him but we'll wait until she's a little older so all right we'll have gray lily go ahead and kind of wait for just a minute corpy let's have him he jumped to the other side and now gray lily wants to get on that side too all right then we have little mud lily and then we have got lima the second and then we've got lima the first <laughs> who's still distressed and upset how this went, but I think that Lily kind of feels for her and, and is trying not to take it too personally because it's not Lima's fault. So she'll watch after Lima and all of the children. All right, so let's go ahead and have Lily do a couple calls. I think that that is going to have everybody who can move safely move. And let's see if Tata gets a heat-bodied sibling. Nope. He actually got a healthy sibling named Rira, who is also, I'm not, oh, she's got female peacock tail. Well, that's interesting. Um, and now it's super dark, so I can't see a thing. But I am thinking getting off this island is probably our biggest goal. As soon as we get enough food, and if I make the tribe too big, we're not gonna have enough food. So Lily, you're gonna wait till a little bit later in your life to have a child with lemon drop. And how did this baby turn out? Hello, little Kosi. I wish you had ended up with more of your family's traits, but she has poison fang. She has got female peacock tail. <laughs> so we, we unfortunately didn't manage to pass anything really exciting on. I might be able to convince Tiger Eye to pass on ram horns. We'll have to see. And Zen, I might be able to convince to pass on mask because that would be really awesome. 
But we'll have to see if they have uh, any more dramatic children as they get a little older. But for now, we'll go ahead and let her gather up the, um, the toxic berries. So let's see. And where are we on? Oh, we're about halfway there on unlocking toxic body, which would be very, very useful, actually. And Zen can go ahead and help to feed his child. So yeah, I think I'm going to start picking kind of my favorites like Corthy, and we're gonna start looking really hardcore towards- okay, come on. Go, Grey Lily! Go, follow Corpy. Whew, she made it. We're gonna start leaning really hard towards getting off the island. So now that there's an abundance of food, and Lily is beginning to think that they should sing their songs on a new land as well, uh, we'll get ready to move on. All right, and Trini, you're gonna go ahead and start doing some big wandering. Oh, I can hardly see a thing when it gets so dark like this. Kito, you're going to go ahead and do some big wandering uh, because Tata is probably, well, maybe maybe Blossom wants to have like another kid with him. I don't know. We're, we're not going to be able to unlock Heat Body for a while. And Tata, once he gets old enough, I mean, maybe he would be a good mate for Mud Lily or, or one of like seeing Kate, like one, maybe Lima, actually. That might make a good pairing. His Heat Body is interesting. So we might as well keep it just i mean i wonder what a heat body winged nichling would look like wow that'd be that'd be something all right but we'll go ahead and let tata kind of scooch over uh and then we'll scooch blossom over she's got to guard her babies all right so marka you're gonna go ahead and just gather up your food there there we go semi you're gonna jump over here and kind of work with your mother at gathering up some food a lot of our nichelings are just going to start scattering for food collecting purposes now. Shinzi, you're going to go ahead and gather up the food you've got over here, buddy. And then the babies we have down here, I think Mud Lily, Lima, Masiri uh, are going to think about jumping to the other side so that they can start doing some exploring too. And we'll let Lily go ahead and do her singing. And I think Lima may bring her child she's she's getting older now i think she would want to stay with her children so we'll go ahead and make sure that she kind of keeps an eye on all the little ones who want to make the jump to explore over here and then hopefully to the next island pretty soon all right so that's everybody over there and then over here we have anakosi all right e and i immunity pretty cool and we've got happy little rasiri rasira they're not going to get any fancy names because I don't think this line of the tribe is really going to come and join us on a new area. But I'm glad that I left behind the children that I did. Uh, we might like let them have one more child and then stay over here. And then Yuki will actually stay with them and help to raise the girls and kind of take this area over is the basic idea. They'll gather up food and resources for us for the next island that we can send on. All right, I think that's everybody who can move, actually. So let's see what happens. Go away, rain! I can never see when it rains. Yes, the rain is gone! I can never see when it rains, so that makes me pretty happy that it's out of the way. Are, is Yuki being attacked again? I heard a Barina. Who's getting attacked? It's not Shinzi because he's bleeding, is it? Barina? Well, I heard a Barina. I don't smell a Barina. Hmm. Oh, baby Barina! Oh my gosh! I don't know how I feel about baby Barina jeans, honestly. I'm not going to go out of my way to try to get them, but they're nearby. So, all right. Yeah, I think... You know, I keep saying about 200 food or so, but it's probably okay to start thinking about leaving the island now. I think I'm going to start pulling my favorites. Uh, Tata... <laughs> Maybe just stick around long enough for Tata to reach adulthood and hopefully leave behind one child with heat body. Um, or maybe just bring him with. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spaces. So yeah, I think we'll start picking our ten favorites and scooching them to the next island next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.